Hi guys, it's Sophie. It's super rainy out today. Um, I'm going to do a kind of half day vlog because um, it is um, books in my bag and um, bookshop day. So I am going to get myself dressed because I'm currently in my pyjamas um, and put some makeup on and stuff and then I'm going to head out with you guys. Um, Foster's been really cute this morning as well, and I, I don't know how much I'm going to buy. I'm trying not to spend too much money on books at the moment. Um, oh, hello. Hi. Um, but I have been lucky enough to be given a £10 voucher, um, and I'm planning on going. I've got two bookshops in my local town, um, and one is an independent bookshop, and one is Waterstones, and I'm going to go to both of them and hopefully buy one thing from both of them. Um, I might buy something else as well, but we'll see. Um, I think my cap's sort of about £30, so um, I'll see what I can get for that. Um, and yeah, I'll chat to you guys when I'm dressed. Okay, so I'm up and I'm dressed. Um, and I'm going to go and make a coffee and find my umbrella. Um, I'm not going to film on the way there because logistics wise I think I have to have an umbrella or I'm, my hair is going to get absolutely soaking wet um, and I also I'm going to take a coffee so I will show you this little bit um, and then I'm going to take the camera with me in my bag. Um, one of the bookshops I'm going to, the independent one, um, has been quite funny with me filming in there before and doesn't want um, any anything filmed really um, so I might not be able to film anything in there um, unless it's a lady who doesn't mind at all. Um, and then the other one is the Waterstone, so hopefully I'll get away with it in there. But if not, I'll definitely show you um, the outsides and what I got in them once I get in and out of the rain. Look, Foster's here to help. Foster, I need to get just behind you, love. From my coffee machine, please. So this is the cup I'm taking with me. Um, I will do a little link down below, because um, I've really enjoyed it. It's not the easiest thing to demonstrate. Oh, with one hand. So this is one that actually, it's a reusable coffee cup that folds up super small, so I can just chuck this one in my bag, and then if I get coffee out, I don't have to carry around like a full, hard coffee cup. Um, I really like it, um, and I'm just going to, I just, you have to kind of pop it with both hands, because it's, it's like kind of like a silicone-y material, I suppose. Um, so yeah, I'm going to go and fill this one up and take some with me, because as I say, I'm trying to save money at the minute. Um, and... Yeah, I think Foster's going to cross and leaving. I left her alone for a whole day in London yesterday, so she's being very uh, lovey and uh, needy. But then she always kind of is. You guys only ever really see Foster when she um, wants attention, and I know she shouldn't walk across. You shouldn't walk across counters, Foster. Can you go down, please? Thank you. Um, she's a bit naughty sometimes. Anyway, I'm going to go make this, and I'll see you guys in a sec. So I have to be fairly quick, because it is still raining outside, but this is the first one of two bookshops that exist in the little town I live in. This one is called Brendan Books um, and it is partly um, new books but mostly used books so we're going to have a wander around. And I'm home. Um, I'm fairly wet and cold, um, but I had a lovely time out getting some books. Um, I thought I'd just show you um, what books I managed to pick up, and then I'm going to set up ready to film for the next couple of weeks' videos. I've been pretty good at filming in advance recently, um, so I think I'm going to film a fall slash autumn TBR. Um, my September wrap up and then I need to film whichever came out on top of my 10k um, look at Foz my 10k um, video options in fact I'm going to turn you around because just this is what she's like hi darling hi hey sweet pea hi sweet pea anyway I'm, as I say I'm, I'm somewhat wet um, but I'll just show you what I got quickly so from the independent bookseller I got um, The New Republic, which is used, it's by Lionel Shriver, um, it's sort of about terrorism I think, and that one was only £2.80, which is a total bargain. I've actually never heard about that one, so um, that should be interesting. And then I also got a Stephen King, because I'm trying to find some like spooky, scary reads um, for sort of um, autumn, I really like that sort of thing, plus just playing with the receipts. Um, and this one again, I think this was only £4. Yeah, it's four pounds. Um, so there's this one as well. I think this one's about a man with sort of semi-magical powers slash maybe he's the devil. 
because it's Stephen King. Um, so I got those two and for the grand total of £6.80, which I think is pretty damn good. Um, and then I picked up from Waterstones Ghost Wall by Sarah Moss. Um, and whilst I know this isn't necessarily scary, I think it's going to be quite an unsettling tone. I think the hardback is just beautiful. I really wanted to get that edition. Um, and it's a really short little novella. I'm sure you've heard about this one, but um, it's about a woman who is living in like a replicated medieval time to try as part of like a historical piece of work. Um, so that should be really interesting as well. And then the very last one I got is some horror and I'm not a huge horror reader though I watch quite a lot of horror movies and really like horror in general and this is just the time when I'm much more likely to pick up this sort of thing. Um, and this one is The Cabin at the End of the World by Paul Tremblay which is like a totally um, stereotypical for horror movie and horror writing. Um, family who go to live in a cabin in the middle of nowhere and a group of masked men turn up with various weapons to threaten them. Um, I haven't read horror in a long time and I'm actually really looking forward to getting to this one. Um, there were a few others that I looked for in the bookshops that weren't there that I was interested in picking up. Um, one's called Baby Teeth and the other is by, which is called something Le Grand um, and it's about um, these girls who start to go just, who start to kind of disappear and um, let me just see if I can find the title again. Yeah, it's called The Saw Kill Girls by Claire Legrand. Um, and the other one that I looked for but wasn't there again um, was The Hunger um, by Alma Katsu, which is about the uh, Donna Party in um, the United States, um, which is a group of people who went down a very windy way to try and make um, a home in America when they were kind of pioneering um, across Indian land. Um, and they ended up stuck in the middle of nowhere and had to resort to cannibalism. So um, I may well try and get my hands on those at a later date. Um, but I'm pretty happy. In total, I spent um, £16.80, um, I think, or maybe a little bit more, maybe um, £17. And I had £10 to spend, so I don't think that's bad for four books. Um, and I'm, I'm happy that it's like inside my £30 um, because I'm really, really trying to save money. Um, so yeah, I am going to let myself dry out a bit, have some breakfast because it is half 11 and I haven't had anything yet. So I'm going to have breakfast, brunch, you know what I mean? Um, and then I'm going to set up for film, filming and I'll show you a bit of that. And then um, I'll talk to you about what I'm reading and what I'm up to this afternoon. Absolutely. Stacks of books. Um, I'm going to charge my camera up a little bit whilst I collect the last stack of books, which is my September wrap-up. That's my TBR. That's my uh, favourite fiction and non-fiction. Spoilers. Hey, hey. I might upload this um, with, I don't know, blocks over the top of them or something. Um, I'm also, I'm drinking some tea from last year's books on my bag mug, which is actually one of my favourite mugs and I love the bag as well. I use that pretty much every time I go to Tom's. Um, yeah, I'm going to put some charge on this thing so that I have time to talk about all of these books and then I will chat to you guys when I'm done filming. So, somewhat silly, I managed to forget my camera um, when I left to go to Tom's after I spoke to you guys yesterday. Um, I was planning on going later in the day and I was going to vlog in the day and then I just left and I realised, oh god, I've left my camera at home on the side. Um, so I thought I'd finish off the video with a vlog of today, which is not the Saturday, not the Sunday, because I spent that at Tom's as well, um, but Monday. Um, so I have this week off and I'm planning on spending it doing a lot of reading and relaxing and also getting lots of little household jobs done that need, need doing for a really long time, um, but that need people to like come in and do things. Um, so I'm kind of ringing up <laughs> lots of people this week um, to arrange for them to come and help me. <laughs> I'm actually really looking forward to having this week and getting all of those things done and just feeling kind of together and sorted um, for the winter really, they're all kind of slightly wintry jobs that we've not really had to do in the summer and we could do with having doing um, about now. Um, so I've just run around a few places this morning waiting for some calls back and I'm settling in with Stephen King's revival. Um, I'm that far through, how far through is that? 82 pages. They're always really quick reads. Um, I'd hope to read a bit more yesterday but we just had quite a busy day of um, just sorting houses really, um, just one of those days so didn't manage to read that much um, and I've also got that I'm kind of part way through um, October's edition of Tiva. Um, this one is an edition that is all written, done, produced by um, women of colour um, because it's Black History Month but also just because Diva's like 
we need to do this more which is positive um so i'm really enjoying that edition um and i think i'll, I'll finish that one off today and read a good part of revival anyhow um yeah i'll chat back to you guys in a while so i've just finished the edition of diva and i enjoyed it and i read a little bit more in revival tom is awake there is tom hello you're right um tom's going to try and get a dentist appointment which is a feat and um, I'm trying to call my doctors, which is also a feat um, for different reasons. <laughs> um, and yeah, I think we're just gonna pop around doing little bits and bobs today and doing lots of reading and okay. relaxing. Okay. Hey, no. Will you let her go now? She, she wants to go now. Mm -hmm. Seems okay. Yeah, one. <laughs> <laughs> cool, I'll catch up with you guys later for an update. Lots of chores today, um, we just washed the car, Tom is just making some coffee, far away, there you go, um, and I'm waiting on a phone call for some good news, hopefully, um, so I'll chat to you guys in a little bit. So it's been a bit of a weird day, like it's been a good day, um, I have kind of two job offers to choose between, um, which is really good, but I'm just a bit like don't know what I want to do yet um, so I'm going to properly spend some time thinking it over and weighing up pros and cons and feeling what I feel in my gut and all of those things um, but for now we're going to go out and have coffee we're going to try and have coffee and kind of celebrate um, that I have got the offers anyway because I'm not very good at celebrating good things I'm, I'm always what's the next hard thing so yeah that's that's the next bit of the plan one's coming too. Hello! So we have just come back from going out and getting coffee and we did well. We, we sat there and it was nice and I had a white chocolate and raspberry cupcakey thing and a pumpkin spice latte which was lovely and Tom had... what did you have? I had a smoothie. smoothie. And you had some lemon drizzle cake. I did. It yeah. was lovely. Um, and we, we went to Waterstones which was amazing. Um, I got a couple of books and I, I, I may have been given one. Um, but the first one I picked up was What Money can't buy by Michael J Sandel who wrote Justice which is a book on ethics I really like and this one is talking about the economy and morality which sounds really interesting I've wanted to read more of him for a while and I kind of remembered he existed yesterday and thought I should look for more of his stuff and the other one I got was called is called The Incurable Romantic um, by Frank Tallis and these are stories like case studies of people who fall in love in ways they shouldn't fall in love like with inanimate objects or people who definitely don't love them back or are just really obsessive with it or people that are dead or whatever um, and I find that fascinating so I'm really looking forward to that one as well. I'm going to give you to Tom who's going to tell you what he bought. You just want to point the camera at me. No, so it's I, very heavy. Uh, I'm really sure. <laughs> um, okay, do I use left hand? You do hand you want. Yeah. Okay, so first off you I... can't see you. Oh shit, right. Oh. Right, is that better? Okay, so first off, I bought a book for Sophie to say well done on getting the job offers. So I got her Sean Tan Tales from the Inner City, which is kind of a theme with Sophie and I. When she does good, I buy her a Sean Tan. <laughs> um, yeah, so I really hope she enjoys that. Did you see the picture on the back? No. It's a little kitty cat. There's a little kitty cat on the back, right. It's like a demon foster who's already a demon. Um, and then I got myself three books, so I got a bit of David Gemmell, so any fantasy fans, just, you know, it's David Gemmell. Um, I got The Wolf. I don't know what it's about, but it's it's got a picture of a wolf, and it's called The Wolf, so... You, of course, you were going to buy it. Yeah, so Sophie even picked it up and said, do you want to get this one? I said, I've already got it. So yes, it's about a wolf. And the third is the heir of night. It has a woman with a sword and chain mail on it, so, um, and there's fire behind her, so, must be good, you know, high-end stuff. Anyway. Do you know what it's about? Do you know I have no idea, about? I didn't even read it. <laughs> anyway, back to Sophie. Okay, cool. Um, I think this is gonna be the last thing I'm gonna film today, just cause I think Tom and I both need to like, just chill. We've had a big old day, um, for different reasons, but both we, we are both tired and we'd like to curl up in heaps now. Um, but it's been lovely talking to you guys and you've seen like a bit of a book haul because I bought four books last time and now I've got another three. But yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed and I will chat to you guys soon in another video. Bye bye.